Hi, this is Jeffrey Rhodes from experimentalhomesteader.com. Before I begin, I wanted to say we did receive this item for free or at a reduced price for our honest opinions. All opinions are our own. And what I have in front of me tonight, I have the Gestic uh, Advanced Flex 2.0 Dual Monitor Arm. Uh, this has the clamp or bolt through mounting. Uh, it's gas adjust assisted arms. Um, it'll hold up to two monitors, or it'll hold two monitors from 15 to 27 inches in size and up to 17.7 pounds each. Okay, so let me go through some of this and try and explain what all this is. Okay, first. This is your actual mount for on your desk. Okay, now it comes set up this like this for clamping it to your desk. Okay, so what you do, you know, you unscrew this down to where you have enough depth to get this on the back of your desk where you're clamping it onto. Uh, if you have to, you know, if you get it all the way down, and there's still not enough room, you can unbolt this, flip this plate upside down, you know, take this piece off, you know, flip it over, bolt this back in, and it'll give you a little bit extra depth here to get this clamped onto the back of your desk. If you can't clamp it, they do have, it comes with the instructions, and a mounting piece um, for changing this over from the clamp to a drill through uh, or bolt through uh, mounting. So that what you're going to do is you're going to put a hole or some desks actually ha come with you know a hole in the top part of the desk you're going to mount it through and clamp it basically all the way through uh, the base of the desk or the, the the desk itself. Okay, um, and there's instructions for you know how to alter this and, and change it over to the uh, the bolt through method. Um, okay, once you've attached the arm via either clamping it or bolting it through. You have some options. Um, and one of the things that this does not come with is a Phillips screwdriver. That is one thing you will definitely need for this. Um, but depending on what size monitors you're using, uh, it comes with this piece on here so that you can attach two arms. Okay. So depending on the size of your monitors, you have this on here. You have two basically extender pieces for attaching if you have extra large monitors. If you're running two 27-inch monitors, you'll want these pieces. Because the arms that actually attach to the computers themselves could also be attached here if you have small monitors, okay? But if you've got the bigger monitors, you'll want to attach the extension arms to get them out there a lot farther, okay? So you can get these, you know, that'll give you a lot more range, a lot more distance. But you can get by, I think, <laughs> I haven't actually tried this, but, um, when I was looking at this, it looks like you could, if you have small monitors, just attach directly onto, okay. Now, these do have, in the backs of them, there are little screws that you use a uh, hex wrench with to tighten them down onto uh, these mounting points, okay. so. 
so that they don't just slide on and off. You can you can clamp them down, you know, tighten them down once you have them positioned where you more or less want them. Um, you also have this piece here actually slides up and down on this this post, and down here below it, there is actually a clamp. So you can run this up to whatever height you want, and then tighten this down and keep it in place. This also has, on the back side of it, more of those same types of screws so that you can actually tighten it down and, and keep it from rotating or coming off. Okay, But you can actually adjust how high your monitors are setting with this. Okay, now. Your monitors, on the backs of the monitors, are a place for mounting these, okay? Now, it does come with the mounting hardware. It's got two different lengths of screws to use. Um, and we have two different monitors that we're going to be using. The first example, we have uh, this HP monitor. Uh, it has a flat back. So with this type, all you're going to do is take, and we're going to be mounting this bracket directly into the holes that are provided on the back of the, the monitor. Okay. So I'm going to do that in a few minutes, but let me show you the other monitor that we're also going to be using. Um, it's a Dell monitor. Now this one has a re recessed back panel. And they provide with this, um, right in here, there are spacers. Okay, so you're going to put a spacer and then this back brace with a longer screw. And that way it sets out, it's, it's sitting at the exact same pa it's spacing as, you know, your other monitor. Um, and those are your two options, you know, if, if you have, whether you have the recessed or whether you have the flat, uh, is whether you need the spacers or not. This one's going to take the spacers, this one isn't, and I'm going to attach the arms here in a minute. Uh, we did also find, uh, because my wife actually has an iMac, and the iMacs do not mount. Uh, they, they have a different back to them. Uh, they do not have the pre-drilled holes and everything. Uh, for using this type of mounting system. So uh, we cannot use the iMac on this. Uh, the other issue with that was that the iMac uh, is uh, listed as being 25 pounds, which is too much weight for these arms to hold. Um, so we were going to be running a risk with that anyways if we'd have been able to mount it. But uh, most of your normal monitors for your for a PC rather than a Mac, uh, are going to be able to be mounted uh, onto these arms uh, because they have the, the pre-drilled holes in the back that make it easy to mount these. Okay, so give me just a second and I'll uh, show you how to actually attach these arms. Okay, so I'm going to put my spacers in place on the back here. Um, So I'm going to use four spacers. I've got my four longer screws that I'm going to use. Okay. And these are the actual instructions that they, they send. Um, they're actually pretty good instructions. I was looking through. Um, it gives you, you know, the diagram. It gives you, you know, what comes with it. And according, the, the way this sets uh, everything up, you're actually supposed to mount the clamp onto uh, the desk first, but uh, I haven't gotten to that point yet. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and, and attach the arms because you do want to attach your arms to your monitors before you try to put the, them onto uh, the main arm or the, the, uh, the support. Um, so 
because trying to to put all of this on, you know, trying to hold a monitor in place and put all of this together uh, once the arms are in place, um, I think would be very, very, very difficult. So we're just going to get the arm in place and try not to drop the monitor off the little table here. Um, and I'm just putting the first couple of screws in real quick and not tightening them all the way down until I get all the screws in place. Okay, so I have this attached and tightened down, and as you can see, that does, whoop, okay. And there are hex bolts here, um, so with a, uh, an Allen wrench or hex wrench, you can tighten those down uh, to keep the monitor from moving when, where you don't want it. But it does, it is adjustable, it is, uh, you can rotate it, you can move it up and down, you can move it side to side. And then this part here is actually your uh, uh, gas assist uh, and it's adjustable down here. Um, using this uh, much larger uh, hex bolt. Um, and what you'll do is, is adjust it uh, up and down as, as you know, to, to adjust this piece right here uh, for whatever positioning you want. Um, and it'll actually help to hold all of this in place uh, with a much stronger uh, hold. Okay, so that's one monitor done. Now we will swap out and I'll show you the second monitor. Okay, so this one's the flat back. Uh, so with this one, I don't need to use spacers and I will be using the shorter screws. Um, these are much shorter because uh, I don't have to use it. The, they don't cover as much depth uh, because I don't have spacers in there. And I'm going to do the same thing with this one. I'm just going to put the screws in here, get them started uh, until I get all the screws in place. Then I'll tighten them all down and I will show you how this one looks as well. And this really is kind of the easy part of all of this because um, it's pretty simple to, you know, add this, this uh, mounting bracket on the back of the monitors uh, because they do have the pre-provided holes. Um, now, most of them also do come with a, uh, a stand of some sort, like this one here. Uh, this is where the stand it was just a push button to remove. Uh, the other one, it was a recessed, but it was still, you, there was a little button that you push to release it and take it off of the back of the monitor. Um, so now we have this one and it's all set and ready to go. And so next step is going to be actually uh, mounting the, uh, the base part 
onto our desk and then adjusting it as to height and uh, width of the uh, monitors. So we'll be back shortly after I get this attached to our desk and we'll uh, show you the final assembly uh, and how it looks. Um, I'm, I'm not going to actually show you how to attach everything. I've kind of explained it uh, and I'm not sure just what we're going to have to do on our desk yet. So uh, I'll be back and I'll show you how it looks once we get it all assembled. Okay, so um, we managed to get everything uh, put together. Um, this is what it looks like after it's all assembled with the monitors up. Uh, we have her Mac. We have the two monitors on the stand. Uh, so we, she's got three different computers with three different monitors working. Um, and But it's all in one area, basically. It, it does help to uh, bring it all into a, a smaller space, working space. Um, and uh, I think she's going to be real happy with... Uh, the way all of this works. Okay, so she has this uh, blue keyboard over here set up with this computer. Um, so you can see I'm moving the mouse around just a little bit. Um, she has her this keyboard here and uh, the uh, trackpad. This is for her Mac. So you can see, you know, the cursor moving around on the screen there. And then she has another keyboard over here. Uh, for this top monitor and I'm probably in the way of actually being able to see that but it's it's three computers uh, hooked up uh, with keyboards and mouse uh, eventually we may switch over and uh, put two of these monitors hooked into one computer and then it'll just be you know it should be down to two keyboards one for the Mac and one for the uh, computer and put two different uh, monitors working but right now she's using three computers uh, she does a lot of different uh, stuff on the computers so this actually works for her it helps her to do uh, a lot more so but this is this is what the uh, what it looks like it you know it's really pretty nice and uh, we put everything up there and we tightened everything down so that it didn't move much um, because she was happy with where everything was placed uh, but it is adjustable so that if you wanted to move the, the uh, monitors around a lot uh, after you got them set you know if you were constantly needing to move them uh, there there it it's possible you can do that uh, now uh, the one monitor to get it uh, placed properly um, we did take and not use one of the extension arms for it uh, because it would have put it far or too far over. Uh, it was too much space between the different monitors. Um, so we went ahead and just took out one of the, the, uh, the additional arms. Uh, and it looks really nice this way. Um, if we'd had, you know, even larger monitors, then we could have, you know, the, the extra arms definitely would help. Uh, if we had more space, uh, you know, they could be nice. But, uh, for our setup, you know, we, we did take out one of the extensions and uh, we make it look pretty good. So thank you and have a great day.